What's going on YouTube? First and foremost, let me throw out a disclaimer. I am not a barber. Let me repeat myself. I am not a barber. What I'm doing in this video is trying to give you a few tips to help you cut your own hair as well. Now, during the times that we're living in right now, let's keep it a buck. Not a lot of us are going to the actual barber shop. So with that being said, we gotta stay fresh. We gotta make sure we stay on point because that's what it's all about. Now, this is a little different than all my normal videos. I am a fitness YouTuber, I will say it. Fitness YouTube, that's what it's all about, X Factor Fitness. And if you have not seen any of those videos, go right ahead, check them out. They're all linked all over the page. But for right now, let's stick to the haircut. All right, so right here you'll see, I've had a fro for a while. All right, I've had a fro pretty much all the pandemic, the first months of the pandemic. So from March up until about January, let's just say that, right? So what I did a week prior to this cut right here was wash my hair and I continuously combed it and brushed it as if I had 360 waves, cause that's where I came from, all right? 360 waves, those videos are all over the channel as well. How to get 360 waves, how to wash your 360 waves, all of that, all right? So make sure y'all check all that out too. But anyways, first what I'm doing is combing my hair, all right? This is what you do before you get a haircut, you comb your hair. You wanna lift your waves or just lift your hair off of your scalp. What happens when we have nappy hair, the coarse hair like you see that I have, our clippers get snagged every now and then, all right? So what we wanna do is first comb and make sure we lift all our hairs off of the scalp, all right? So right here, I'm combing in my pattern. This is the same way I would brush my hair. This is the way my hair grows, and that's how you wanna comb. So keep that in mind, it's very important. All right, let's get started. Number two guard, open. This is how I'm gonna cut around my crown. Now, it's important to know that around your crown, there's normally less hair. Now that right there that you see is not a bald spot. That is the spot where I can put, let's say my pinky, and then I brush away from my pinky. And that's the pattern that I'm going with when I'm doing my 360 waves. So everybody's crown will look different. Some folks you will see no crown because they've perfected their swirl with their waves. Some folks just have a line where they brush forward and brush backwards. But here I have pretty much the beehive. This is what we call a beehive. And right here I'm taking that two guard open and I'm just cutting away from my crown. And I wanted to do it that way because it looked pretty cool. I saw it in some other video. <laughs> so now I close that two guard. And now I'm gonna pretty much just go around my whole entire head. This will be a two on top. All right, it'll be about, if I left the guard open, it will be about a 2.5, let's say. All right, again, I'm not a barber, so I can't give you the actual measurements. But this will be a two on top. All right, two guard closed, and I'm going all around my head. Now, one thing you wanna pay attention to is the length of your hair all around. So you may notice and you may not notice, but the hair on the side of my heads is less than the hair on the top of my heads. So on the top, I'm cutting with that two guard open. It looks a lot darker than on my sides. And that's something you can take into account for this first cut coming back to the wave game, coming back to the short dark Caesars. I'm not too concerned about that right now, but normally I would take a 1.5 open on the top and then I'll keep that two guard closed on my sides. All right, just to make sure everything stays even. But like I said, not too worried about that with this cut. I just wanted to make sure, chop off the fro, get all the, get all of that, that hair off my head. Guys, it's about time. It's about 12 months of a fro. I did the curl top, the sponge top, and it was cool. You know, I, I took some time away from wearing a do-rag, which is ideal. It was jacking up my forehead. Let's be completely honest. You know what I mean? But taking a break. And as you see here, still got some waves. Not bad. Not bad. After a year of not brushing, I still got a, a few baby waves. It looked like when I first started. Actually, it's not even as bad as when I first started my wave journey, which I think was like 2017, maybe. It's a video up there on my YouTube channel somewhere. Maybe I'll link it for you all. But I do encourage you to search around my channel. I got some good videos, good content. And actually, the videos are getting better and better because my production is getting a little bit better. Microphones, cameras, lighting, everything like that. 
But anyways, yeah, just chopping up all the hair, man. You want to make sure you get it all off, and then you brush all your hairs down. Make sure you you check for any missing sections. You know what I mean? There is a slight chance that you need to go back over and cut some more, which I did have to do. It's not in this video, but I went ahead and brushed down uh, just to you know check off all the sections and check out the waves, see what they're looking like. You know, this is my first time seeing my hair like this in a year. All right. Alright, so now we're going to take the one guard and we're going to close it. No, we're not. We're going to open it. And so what's going to happen here, now I'm chopping off the hairs on my hairline. Alright, we want to bring that hairline just to make it a little bit more crisp when it's time to line it up. And so we're chopping off that hair, chopping off that bulk that's on the hairline. So this is very important for a lot of you folks out there with shorter hair, trying to get that dark Caesar. Even if you just have you have these waves that you want to make pop, you got to make sure your hairline is legit. All right. Now we're getting to the hard part, man. This is well, it's not a hard part for some, but it, it can be pretty difficult. So what I'm doing here, I'm going to start fading. All right. So this is my first line. I'm taking the Andes clippers and I'm drawing that first line. Now you won't see a lot of people do it this way. And especially because it's kind of hard to get all, get out that that sharp line right here. All right, so if you aren't comfortable, do not do it this way. But this is a legit way to make sure you start your fade where you want it, and that's exactly where I want it, right there at the not too much at the top of the ear, but right there, you know, right above the sideburn, or whatever. Now with the no guard closed, now it's time to trim out that line just a bit, and we're starting a new line. So you trim out that line, you start a new line. This will all come into play soon. Coming to the end of the video, you will see how it all turns out. But you start with that Andy's line, and then with the no guard, you make another line. Now we're gonna take the one guard, and we're gonna close the clippers, and we're gonna do a little flicking motion. Flicking out that second line we just made, and trying to grow another line, or trying to develop another line. So that's what we're doing right here. And like I said before, it's not going to be easy, guys. But the more and more you cut your own hair, you practice with these fades, you'll just get better. So as you see, I open the clippers up. And now I'm going to, again, flick some more just to go a little deeper up. All right, so now with the two guard closed, I'm gonna flick out all that bulk. So I didn't show you a lot of that, but that's pretty much what's going on here. I'm just flicking out that bulk, knocking out all those hairs. All right, this is an important step because you want everything to fade in. Now you can continue to do this process going back from step one all the way up to this step right here. Just continue that process, continue that process until you get a smooth product. So by now I feel I have a smooth product. So now I'm gonna move over to lining up the hair. You gotta line it all up. And as you saw right there, you couldn't really get an angle, but this is pretty much how I line my hair up. Barbers do theirs a little different, but again, they're in front of their client and they can see a little easier. You know what I mean? So this is the best way I find that I can uh, trim my trim my hairline, you know, line it all up. And you pretty much want to grab hair and push it out. You start, you, you draw a line pretty much with your Andy's clippers and you drag it out. That's how I line my hair up. So everyone has their own type of technique and some clippers are just better than others. I don't feel that my clippers are the sharpest, so I do have to work a little harder. As you see, I'm going back and forth, back and forth. But like I said, the more and more you get better at it, it'll come easier and you also can upgrade your equipment to where you definitely don't have to put in this much work. You know what I mean? But again, to each his own, you are, you are your own barber. All right, it's not a barber shop. You can do whatever you want with your head. So I do encourage you to just practice. As you see, it's not a bad fade, right? So now lining up the hairline. This is where, this is where you really want to be sharp, right? And you will notice a lot of flaws in your own head too when you get started. So me, as you see, my corners are super thin. I absolutely hate it. You know what I mean? I'm 30 years old, so it is what it is. But they are thinning. All right, it is what it is. I'm content. I've accepted it, and I'm gonna take it.
All right, so the same thing we did for our sides, we're gonna do that for the back. Now this is gonna be extremely harder than it was for the sides because you literally are looking in two mirrors. So good luck. All right, time to line it up. So we line it up just like we lined up the front, the top hairline, the sides. We're lining that up in the back. Again, this is gonna be a little bit harder simply because you're holding a mirror and looking into another. But trust me, you will get better. Now soon you're gonna see me with some enhancements, all right? Now my hairspray is not as legit as the barbers, so bear with me, all right? But like I said before, that hairline needs work. All right, my corners are thinning. So you're gonna see it. Pause it if you need to, you're gonna see it. <laughs> and there you have it, your boy got crisp. All right, went from a fro, brought it all the way to some waves, back to the 360 wave game, all right? This was a quick haircut tutorial. I gave you some tips, a little bit of tricks here and there. Again, the more and more you perform your own haircuts, the better you will get. Here you'll see me knocking off the frizz. Be careful with this one, all right? Again, going from fro to waves. Do what you gotta do, be your own barber. And with that, I encourage you all to check out some of my other videos. I have a lot of wave videos teaching you how to get waves, how to wash waves, how to take care of your waves. Check them out, let me know what you think, and I'm gonna catch you in the next one.